Hey Startup Nation, I am Jen Sincero, author of You Are a Badass at Making Money, and I am really psyched to be talking to you guys. I basically spent the majority of my adult life really broke. I was in a band and I had a lot of good friends and I did a lot of fun stuff, but for some reason the money thing was always a gigantic roadblock for me and I found myself at the age of 40 living in a converted garage and making no money. So I just woke up one day and was like, I cannot believe that I, Jen Sincero, find this to be the best I can do in my one and only life on planet Earth. So I finally made the decision to focus on making money, which is a very controversial thing to focus on. Um, even though in our conscious minds, we think, you know, sure, bring it on. I'll take all the money you can give me. But deep down, a lot of us have a lot of judgment around money. I know I personally felt like you are morally bankrupt if you focus on making money. You know, I was a writer and a musician and I felt like I was going to be a big fat sellout if I went after making money. Um, and I also had a really strong belief that, you know, I could figure it out on my own, even though I had been proving for the past 40 some odd years that I couldn't. So that decision was really, really big for me. And that's when I started reading all the self-help books. I read every book I could find, uh, on the topic of money, even though, you know, I was terrified I'd die in the middle of the night and people would find them in my apartment because, you know, I was too cool for that kind of stuff. Um, and I started going to money making seminars, which was really uncomfortable because I felt very out of place there and I hired coaches, you know, I did whatever it took. And, uh, that's really when I started seeing a major shift in my money story. I found a couple good books on money and wealth consciousness, which is a term I had never heard of until I started this journey. Uh, I really loved Wallace Waddle's The Science of Getting Rich and uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. And both of these guys are super old timey in case you can't tell by their names. Uh, so it's a lot about building the railroads and the steel industry, you know, but, uh, but they, they were probably the two books I read the most and I still, I still read them a lot. We've been taught that fear is the biggest roadblock on going for our dreams. And I would really like to sort of restructure the way that you view your fear because fear actually is one of your best pals when you decide to completely change your life. Because if you are not afraid and you're trying to change your life, then you're doing something wrong. Fear is an awesome compass towards the life of your dreams because we talk a lot about being in your comfort zone when we talk about feeling stuck in a rut and the reason we call it the comfort zone even though your comfort zone is usually extremely uncomfortable like my comfort zone was being broke living in my garage doing the same old stuff every day whining about how broke i was you know it wasn't necessarily comfortable but it was very familiar and it wasn't until i started doing a lot of stuff that was uncomfortable that I started to see changes in my life. And I was really scared to do a lot of these uncomfortable things. So the fear that you feel when it comes to changing your life, you know, it's a kind of fear that is very akin to excitement. So for me, some of the fears I felt was, you know, going to these cheesy um, money making seminars. Uh, and I didn't, it wasn't comfortable and it was, it was outside of my comfort zone, but it, it was good because I was like, all right, I'm making some changes. I'm going for stuff I want. You know, I was terrified when I hired my first life coach because she was super expensive for me at the time, but it was that kind of terror of spending the money, but also the excitement of, okay, I'm getting my act together. I'm in the game. I'm taking a big risk. You know, then I, I started my own business and doubling my prices, terrified that people were going to think I was a money grubbing pig and nobody would sign up to work with me because I was too expensive. And at the same time, I was like, oh man, can you imagine if I actually get the price I'm asking for? So it's that kind of fear The it, it feels almost the same, right? It's like excitement and fear both give you that like butterflies in your stomach and you sweat and you smell bad, you know, that kind of stuff. But it really is two sides of the same coin. So I say, you know, use fear as a sign that you're on the right track. One of the things I hear a lot from my coaching clients and a lot of entrepreneurs is, you know, this idea has been done a million times. There's so much competition. Why, you know, 
who am I to start this business? So who you are to start this business or go after this idea that you've got is you are you. And I highly doubt, you know, every once in a while somebody comes up with a brilliant idea that nobody has done before. But for the most part, we're all kind of doing something that somebody else is doing. So you are unauthorized to use that excuse to not go for your dreams. And you got to trust the fact that the fact that you are doing it matters more than you can ever imagine because you have your own unique voice. You have your own unique way of saying things. You've got your own unique way of doing things. And the people that you're meant to reach are going to resonate with you. So your own take on whatever it is that you're doing matters greatly. The first piece of advice would be to heal your relationship with money. As I said, you know, a lot of times we don't even realize that we've got these subconscious beliefs about money because we think, you know, we want to make all the money that we can. Um, and I actually uh, put in this book and um, my other You Are a Badass book, this exercise where you write a letter to money. And the thing about this exercise that I love is it really busts you on your crap around money because, you know, my letter went something like, dear money, I love you. I wish I had more of you, but I feel dirty even admitting that. And I don't trust you. I feel like if I make you, you're going to show up and then you're going to go away. So things like that. And most people have some version of that going on. So you get to see the big old push pull that you've got going with money. And, you know, until you know what your issues are with money, it's, you're not going to be able to heal them. So the first step is getting very clear on what your negative beliefs are about money. And then once you know what they are, you can look at them and be like, you know, is money untrustworthy? Has it ever really been there for me? And then I would look at it and be like, yeah, it's been there for me a lot. So once you start to see what your made up story is, you can rewrite another story and then focus on the new story instead of becoming a victim to the old story. So the first thing is to become aware of your negative beliefs and thoughts. The second thing is to do things that scare the crap out of you on a regular basis. So, you know, as I said, I went to all these coaching seminars. I, I paid people lots of money that I was terrified to pay them. I doubled my rates. I made cold calls for sales. I mean, tons of stuff that I was terrified to do. But again, that fear is the compass towards your freedom. So scare the crap out of yourself on a regular basis. And third, I would say to surround yourself with other people who are kicking butt and who have an awesome relationship with money. Um, you know, there's no lack of doubt, fear, and worry when it comes to our own abilities to go after the stuff we desire. So you don't need everybody else's doubt, fears, and worries as well. You need people around you who are going to do a cartwheel every time you open up your mouth, right? Who are just going to, you know, you come up with some wacky idea that seems impossible, but totally exciting. You want the kind of people who are going to be like, hell yeah, you can do it. How can I help you? Rock on right? You don't want people who are going to be like, well, you know, you could lose a lot of money if you go after that dream of yours. I don't know. Yeah, I need that. Thanks so much for watching this, everyone out there on Startup Nation. This has been really, really fun. And I am so excited for you to be starting up whatever it is that you're starting up. The world really needs as many actualized and excited and authentic people standing up in their power. So I really appreciate you going for it. And again, I am Jen Sincero. I am the author of You Are a Badass at Making Money, Master the Mindset of Wealth, as well as You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. You can find out more about me on my website, jensincero.com. Thanks again.